Here is a piece of tissue. Perhaps you can recognize it as an adrenal gland. Perhaps not. I could see why uh, it would be difficult to recognize as an adrenal gland because in an adrenal gland, besides having the capsule, we have cortical epithelium differentiated into glomerular areas linear fascicles and kind of reticulated pattern peripheral to an area of medulla in which there are a lot of big veins surrounded by thick smooth muscle here you really can't see much of that differentiation at all sure you could see a capsule sure you could see some fat surrounding the capsule Sure, you could see some centrally located large veins, but in all honesty, you really don't see too much by way of cortical epithelial differentiation. And why is that? Well, perhaps the reason why is that maybe you can see some uh, small structures which you could differentiate as glands, like here, in here, in here, perhaps a little trace here in here, but they don't seem to uh, differentiate into glomerular areas or zona glomerulosa peripherally or linear fascicles in the middle, or, uh, zona fasciculata, or sort of reticulated cord-like structures. They all seem to be about the same. In addition, there is a really... Uh, tremendous amount of infiltration around these primitive glandular structures, structures of chronic inflammatory cells, lymphocytes. It's almost as though the body was attacking its own adrenal cortex. In fact, it's more than almost. It's exactly what happens. This disease is called primary chronic adrenal insufficiency. For all practical purposes, Addison's disease, just like the one that JFK had. In Addison's disease, the adrenal cortex acts as foreign antigens. In other words, like every other autoimmune disease, there are substances here in the cortex which evoke an immune response by the body's own antibodies and therefore uh, an inflammatory response as well. And perhaps that's the reason why you really have a hard time uh, recognizing this structure as being adrenal cortex. This is primary chronic adrenal insufficiency, or if you would prefer the term, autoimmune adrenal cortex-itis. Thank you very much.